How many of you uh, graduated during my 15-year term? One, two, three, four, five. Where are the rest of you? We all feel like graduates. This is the uh, 10th anniversary of uh, this event. Nelson Freeman really created this organization and this talent pool and the event uh, in an extraordinary way. The Deming Center was established early on, probably about 15, 16, 17 years ago. And for two or three years, it languished. Nothing, nothing happened. And then Nelson pitched up. And it uh, turns out that he's a pretty aggressive guy. He used to walk into the dean's office and tell me what I needed to do with the Deming Center. <laughs> and uh, I said, well, why don't you tell me what you want to do with the Deming Center? And as you look around, you see what he has done with the Deming Center. He's created something that has been important for the business school, it's been important for the university, and it's been important for everybody here who's uh, participating in this tonight. It's attracted very senior executives from around the country and from around the world. And it's good to know that those who have already been awarded the Deming Award come back to visit a year later, or three years later, or five years later. So we have people here who got the Deming Award eight, nine years ago and are still coming back to attend these events. And I do think it has coalesced and has created a, a sort of an atmosphere that has been very helpful and successful for the business school. Now, Columbia now has a new dean, Costas McGlarris, been dean for a couple of months. Uh, Costas came to Columbia Business School when, uh, when I was dean with a PhD in electrical engineering from Stanford. And I can remember the faculty at the time scratching their heads. An electrical engineer from Stanford is coming to Columbia Business School in New York City. What are you thinking? <laughs> and it turns out that uh, it was a good call. Now, I'm not sure it was a very thoughtful call, but it was a lucky call. <laughs> and we have a new dean now who, who, who sees the world in a very different way. I remember when, when I graduated from Columbia in 1965, uh, I went to work for a company in Akron, Ohio, B.F. Goodrich. When I came back as dean 20 years later, the first event that I had with the student body at the opening of the uh, academic year, I said, how many of you would be interested in going to work for B.F. Goodrich in Akron, Ohio? And there was a tall young man at the back of the, uh, of the theater who put up his hand and said, Professor Feldberg, I don't even want to walk past Akron, Ohio. <laughs> But the truth of the matter is there has been a, a great deal of change and, and, and it is evolving. And I think our, our new dean uh, is the kind of person who has the capacity to see the business school, its students, and the graduates in a very different light and can add something that, that probably has been missing for a very long time and is now coming back. Uh, so I don't know if Costas is still here. He was here at the earlier meeting, but uh, I think that, that the university did a, a, made a good deal in, in uh, appointing him dean. Uh, the president was chairman of the, of the search committee, and, uh, and he thought that you know, an electrical engineer in the business school is not a bad thing because it gives the school the capacity to move around the entire campus. It's not only the business school anymore, it's the entire campus, and Costas will do that. Now, I, I don't want to give all the, the uh, information on, on Costas without talking about the group here this evening. And it's always a pleasure and a privilege to see everybody come back every year. I'm seeing the same faces four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a year, 10 years in a row. Some of them look older. I know I look older. Uh, my wife doesn't look older, 
<laughs> but the rest, the rest of you all look older. So I do think that, that, uh, that this event has really become part and parcel of Columbia Business School's outreach, and it has become an important event at the university as a whole. And it, it, it really resonates and, and, and moves around the entire campus that this event is taking place. And we get people from other different disciplines who come to this event because it is now an important event. So I, I do want to congratulate uh, the, the Deming Center on, on another wonderful year, uh, a large turnout. Uh, very good appointments of, of the uh, awardees this year, and obviously we'll hear about that uh, at the dinner. And uh, my wife and I look forward to seeing all of you again next year, same place, same time. Thank you.